Eat that. Hello, everyone. We're not in Arkansas anymore. <laughs> it's much cooler here. Who do we have in here? Wait, let me see this. I'm sitting on the floor. <laughs> She's sitting on the couch. Southern Bless Homestead. Hello. All Hi. that all that typing that was going on, that was this one. So I have no idea what she said because I can't read it. That's strong advantage. possibility. Do you know who is typing these things? Yeah, it's it. I'm getting. Yeah, I'm getting special guests. <laughs> special guests. Yes, special yeah. guests. <laughs> and hello, Minnesota gal. Hey, hey. another Patty. <laughs> hey, Patty. How are you? I didn't I'm get a Jan. chance. I didn't get a chance to share and this I'm out awesome. yet. I'm awesome. Sure enough. Now, <laughs> let me share this out on my channel real quick. We've been having a good time. I took her around the property and showed her the it's beautiful underground bunker slash storm shelter slash root cellar and the gardens. Yeah, there is a spider that was this big. It was not. It was huge. And she went to go put her hand on the wall, and I'm like, oh, it was spider. that big, y'all. It was big. It was a wolf spider. And she's like, oh, I yeah. got it now. <laughs> time to burn it down. Time to burn it down and run. Yeah. Why is this? She oh doesn't gosh, like spiders. I don't like spiders either, but it cracked me up. <laughs> oh, you know yeah. what? I'm not on your internet. That's why it's like so slow. No, okay. That's okay. To get on Hang on. I'm just going to share this out if I can find it. Where are you sharing it? Facebook? Facebook. Facebook. You have a Jen. Yeah, that's what I said. Actually, when I drove up, I said, "I understand there's someone's got a loose faucet here that needs I'm to be here to, I'm here to fix the loose faucet. And I had my hat on, of course, not this hat, my loose faucet hat. Her shed wars yeah, hat. My shed wars hat. Here I'll go. Get I'm it. getting zero signal, so it's not letting me share it out. <laughs> Don't make eye contact. I didn't make no eye contact. I left. I ran. Oh, uh oh, here comes the loose faucet. Okay. Y'all haven't seen her loose faucet videos? Gotta go check them out. So, I was going to my underground bunker, and I see this car at the end of my drive. And I was like, who is that? Always having an intruder <laughs> on my property. Thankfully, she didn't have a shotgun. <laughs> I was going to get my freedom stick. But then she started driving a little faster, and I'm like, oh, Lord, I'm going to die. And sure enough, sure enough, it was Ann Marie from Big Dreams Homestead. And she said she's here to fix the loose faucet. I know no loose faucet. Well, I do, but I ain't going to say. <laughs> Some faucets can't be fixed. Yeah. <laughs> Another mini pearl, right? Yeah. yeah. I got oh, yeah, the tag did. from the Apricot Tiny House. Oh, there it is. She bought a purse when we were out and about it. Meet up. Yeah, this is leather pocket shirt bag. It says simply Darian Homestead. Did she buy that purse yes. right on? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so there you go. Back okay. <laughs> See, and it doesn't show me. I don't. I'm. I'm not used to doing this on a little itty bitty computer. So if you guys see me doing this, I'm trying to read comments. <laughs> it's a laptop, y'all. I don't have a 47-inch screen TV for her to look at. Let me, if yeah. she put her glasses on, she might be able to see. Uh-huh. I yeah. could. Did what are you guys barking at? We don't. No, I, it's, it's too close. I can't see it. Are you okay. sure you're normal, Jam? No. No, I'm not. I don't think that's a possibility. Whoops, spiders are okay. Okay, I read all this. Um, yeah, and I just now shared it out. And this is a surprise live, so we might not get many people in here. Surprise! But I just wanted to say surprise! Surprise! She's I have internet. Yes. <laughs> I have internet. I told her, you got to go live. You'll have internet. <laughs> She's going to freak out. Let what? me let her in. Because oh. she won't... Um, Oh, Dilly's at the door. She, she wanted surprise. to go out, but now she wants in. Anxiety. Normal is irrelevant, Patty. And, you know, I'm in Chet Wars with Janet Boy, and there ain't no normal. You know what I mean? I just teach people how to grow. 
Uh-huh. I think I have to go visit Patty at um, Southern Bless next. Yeah. Because their spiders are okay. Don't make eye contact. <laughs> That's awesome. I got to go visit Patty over at Southern Bless next because yeah. she's only two and a half hours away, not this three and a half, four hour drive. Well, excuse me. <laughs> Actually, I saw more of um, Minnesota, Minnesota, Missouri today. Misery. I saw my first Amish carriage on yeah. the way up here. Yeah. That so was after cool. the live, we're going to go drive around. I'm going to take her down the road to the Amish stores. And oh, cool. You have cash on you? Yeah. Okay, good. I'm going to need Uh-oh, it. I'm in and I'm going to show her, we live in the heart of Amish country, so it's oh, normal my goodness. to see the horse and buggies coming down the road. We could do that tomorrow. Just leave early in the morning and go. We could, but why? Well, we can get I mean, night. the day's still young, girl. Yeah. It's oh, only I'm old. I'm an old lady, man. It's like almost my bedtime. Whatever. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. That's the thumbnail? No, that's us talking. Okay. Yeah. She don't know. How nice to Amish store. Them. I've never been in an Amish store. The only Amish I ever saw was on a train in Pennsylvania. We were riding Amtrak with my daughter, and they had a whole family that that boarded. Really nice family. Uh, they rode all the way from Pennsylvania to Chicago with us, but I'd never seen nice. them in a buggy or anything. I thought oh, that yeah. was pretty cool. They're everywhere here. Yeah, I'm learning, you know, there's snakes here. Armadillo, I had never seen an armadillo before. Yep. I saw we're a turtle. Surprised how many armadillos are in Missouri. We there were like, tons. we just thought it was a Texas thing. No, they're <laughs> everywhere and they're dead on the side of the road yeah. everywhere. So, yeah. No, mm -hmm. yeah, we'll go visit the Amish store. Yeah, we'll go, we'll go to two. One sort of like a convenience store. I don't really, can, the Amish run it. Yeah, now we'll go to the real stock. I go to the convenience store. Anyway. I am being bad today and avoiding responsibility. That's why I'm here with you all. That's you, so that's Patty, and not Mac, right? Because Mac's supposed to be driving somewhere. Yeah. Or maybe he's there and he's driving back now. Hey, Diana. Hey, Diana. Move. No, it um, Is Mac back on the road again today, Patty? And it'll take a half an hour for the message to pop up. Oh, she's acting like Mac. Uh, <laughs> I don't know who I'm talking to now. I'm worried. Come on. Come on, Lily. The dogs are, we have Lily and Dilly. And, and they, Brutus. and they're, and Brutus. Hi, Lily. Lily, here. Hi, Lily. Come here. Okay, so off of my yeah. lap. You're too hot. Go. And they are doing this dominance thing. They're between being the two obnoxious. Of each other. Is, yeah. That's what they're doing. Patty's acting like Mac. <laughs> Mac is back on the road, but taking a different route to visit friends. Oh, cool. Oh, Dilly wants to play with Brutus. I know. She's doing the pod thing. <laughs> oh, and then Lily's going to put a stop to it. Lily's She's like, nope, protecting I got to get the middle Brutus. of this. <laughs> We've already had a couple of little arguments between. Uh -uh. There's, been, there's been a tiny bit of blood drawn. Oh, okay. Okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> Anyhow, so I just wanted to come in and do a quick live because, my she goodness. Can. Yeah, because I can because there's internet here. <laughs> I have not had good luck with internet um, at the cabin at all this week because of the rainstorm. So, Diana, that wood Trevor cut was oh. so I saw that. You know, you could bring that um, out to my house. And <laughs> we could cut some trees down and have a lot of fun with that. No, she needs <laughs> someone to lift the wood up for. Victoria, hello. Hey, Victoria. I'm, I'm not in Arkansas anymore. I'm uh, visiting my friends in the Dan. Dogs. They want to play. But Dilly doesn't want to go outside and play. No, she don't. She's looking at Brutus. They just have the cutest. How are you, faces. Victoria? Now, if she goes live tonight, I could actually watch it. Yeah. I could stream it. She could catch you live. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Oh, God. Brutus, stop it. Oh, you're sick. I'm sorry. My chocolate is the size of Lily and Brutus's paw. <laughs> 
Uh, right. Blood being drawn would be a huge problem. <laughs> they, it's a, it was a tiny bit of blood, and my dog won. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> well, Lily's a dominatrix. She. Yes. Yeah. Well, they're they they had to like do their little battle, and you know, Lily learned that Dilly is boy. That's a mouthful, huh, Lily? I know. I know. It never even dawned on me that her dog's name was so close to my dog's name. Yeah. But, um. They they did their little battle thing and now they're over it. They just want to fight over the ball now. So. Oh yeah, chocolate is. She's got a little not a chocolate lab. Oh oh okay. Uh, oh god. What is chocolate? That's his name. He's he's a sweetheart, but he's dying. He tear. What is he dying? Lily and Dilly. Yeah, I know. It's pretty funny. Um. Anyway, they yeah. Dilly and Brutus are playing outside, and Lily's just supervising because she's the mama of Brutus. Dashen, that's right. Oh, a Dotson. See, I had a teacup poodle before Dilly that was four and a half pounds. Yeah. Oh, they're no, they're Look staying at they're out playing. there. How cute! Yeah, Lily's just barking. So that's what we've had to listen to <laughs> today. It's a real thing. Yeah, no, they're they're being good. Anyhow, so I haven't had internet. Um, it's been very, very spotty, very frustrating when I'm trying to watch other people's live streams with all these storms. And it started storming again last night. Mm -hmm. Did we decide this yesterday? Yeah. Or the day before? Yes. I think it was the day before. It was Saturday. And yesterday I called the um, mobile home mover. And he said the truck is repaired now. But... Um, it uh, it's supposed oh, to rain through God. Wednesday. So if the mobile comes this week, it's not going to be until Thursday or Friday or maybe Saturday or Sunday. My Tico has been real sick also over a month now. Oh, no. Uh -uh. I'm sorry to hear that, Victoria. <laughs> yeah, now Patty needs some chocolate. Chocolate sounds good. Uh -huh. I have the wine. I need the chocolate to go with it, right? I have freeze-dried Skittles. Oh, so do I. Back at the house? Yeah. Those were good. Well, they're really good. They're really good. They're really good. I, oh, I should have brought the jalapeno uh, peanut butter. Oh, oh, yeah. Kevin wanted to try that. I'll bring Go it. home and get it real quick. Yeah. I'll hold the I'll line. be back in eight hours. <laughs> I'll bring it when I come at the end of the month. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Diana. Anne Marie's coming to help us with the pigs. Yeah, so she's going to be butchering pigs at the end of the month, and I'm going to come try and help. And I'm I'm pretty good with the seal and meal. I have one too. If I could find it in my storage, I could bring it. Bring it. Uh, but she I want to come just because I want to learn how they do that. Yeah. I've never seen a pig butchered before. Yeah. So. And then we have meat birds that we're doing. We're not doing it. We're going to do those a week before. Oh, man. Yeah. yeah. I want to learn those too, but not. Well, right I don't now. know anything about the butchering of the pig. Yeah. Uh, Diana's husband's going to teach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to learn. So you'll have two extra hands and someone to boss around. Yeah. What's hey, going Jess. on here? Oh, my Aussie garden. Hello. This woman showed up at my house, Jess. I'm trying to fix a loose faucet, <laughs> but she says it's not fixable. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I have the strangest people show up at my doorstep. It's crazy. Oh, they're going at it again. Yeah, they're Maybe right. they're playing now. They're all right. Billy's like, get her away, get me away from her. <laughs> yeah. uh, they're staying outside. So yeah, I was getting cabin fever because I was stuck inside the twelve by sixteen with the rain, and I was just starting to blah blah. So, mm -hmm. so I took a road trip to get out of town, and just and Jan and I have been chatting on marco a lot this last week or since the meetup really huh oh yeah since the meetup since the meetup otherwise we just chatted on videos like diana yeah. and i met that way in too. live yeah live chats yeah so I'm yeah and she kept showing me on marco her beautiful land here and i was like oh my gosh it looks so pretty but uh, it's just as humid here as it is oh, there. She got here. She goes, oh, it feels so good here. And then the heat started coming. Well, okay, wait a minute, though. When I left Arkansas this morning, I left the air-conditioned no cabin. Problem. 
I walked outside and my glasses immediately fogged up. That's how hot and humid it is there. Yeah. And that was at like eight o'clock this morning. Yeah. So it wasn't that humid here, but it's um it's it's not humid. It's warm. It's, it's like what, warm. 90 degrees out there? I don't know. It's check. hot. It's not that hot. You're delusional. stopping by <laughs> day after 6 a.m. and need to go to bed oh my gosh you haven't been to bed and it's after 6 a.m. oh my goodness yes go get some sleep <laughs> it's 80 degrees okay it feels what did you say real feel 80 they lie it's real, real feel, feel 90 that says 90 oh. <laughs> well that was a small print I can't read the small print the okay. picture behind you is tipped. It's actually not. It's the, um, it's the angle of the laptop that's sitting on an ottoman, and I'm sitting on a floor, and she's sitting up on a couch. No, I'm just that tall. <laughs> See, my Aussie garden nuts does, right? Yeah. I need to just, I mean, like, stands, be yeah. a um, – I just need to be a snowbird to Australia when it gets hot here in the summer. Be a multimillionaire and be able to yeah. just go back and pull up. Just got to win yeah. that lottery. Mm -hmm. But they can't travel, so you wouldn't. Because most go. people go where the sun is. I go where the cold is. Not me. Not after this winter we had here. Oh, it's 68 in Washington. So, Victoria, oh, did nice. you get up to the 90s last week when everyone else was complaining? Or did it get that hot there? Or was that just on the coast? Because everybody else. All my other friends in Washington were like, oh, it's 90 degrees. It's horrible. <laughs> well, it's at in New York where Chrissy is oh. uh, along the river in uh, eastern New York. Almost 90. Let's see, win the lottery. I'm in the future. What's the number? I want the numbers. Yes, please. Oh. Hey, Chrissy. Hey, there she is right there. It was 104. Oh, my goodness. Uh -uh. Yeah, no. Nope. nope. I had just packed mm -hmm. it up and gone home. No. Yeah. No. I know. We don't feel like 102 tomorrow. Oh, no, thank you. Speaking of Chrissy, those babes. <laughs> Chrissy, I have a good ophthalmologist I could send you to. Uh, <laughs> They're nice. Yes, see you have Chrissy. <laughs> yep. Man, that's crazy. Isn't The weather is just all over the place. I it's, didn't realize it was that hot up in New York. Yeah. It's going to be a horrible winter. I mean, summer. She's 94 and humid. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. So do your crazy. glasses fog up when you go outside, too, Chrissy? we got two weeks. Get two yeah. weeks of hot here, though. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And you know what? I honestly can say I wouldn't mind the hot right now if it would just stop raining for a week. Just for a week. That's just stop raining needs. for a week. One week. Actually, they said three or four days. Okay. But just give we'll me a week. It. That way I can put the windows in and the doors in and then yeah. it's not raining in the house. But yeah. My Lord, we need three or four days if you help us. Okay, help my us. Aussie garden. Bye, Dad. Love sleep. you. Sleep well. Your eyeball sweat. 43 is lows. Wow. Yeah. yeah those last week it was it was cold. I think it was I've been last freezing week. Yeah, it was last week. I've been, it's been so humid that yeah. I just leave the AC on all day and all night. Hi, Cecilia. Um, but I've been just leaving the AC on all day and all night. And at night, it's like actually cold. I slept in sweats last night. That's it was awesome. so cold in there. That's a good night's sleep. Man, you sleep like a rock. When I heard the like north that. will get hotter than us. Where'd it go? It jumped. It's gone. Huh? Oh, there it is. Okay. I heard the north will get hotter than us in the south for the next week or so. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Joy Blast. Hello. Hi, Joy Blast. Oh, that <laughs> yeah. was so fun. Okay, so that was Donnie that interviewed me. I, that was such a blur. I was like, some guy interviewed me. Yeah. And I don't remember which channel it was. Hey, Brad. Kiss my grass acres. How are you? Crazy Ed's Homestead. Papa Pepper. Hello. Oh my goodness. Hey, Papa Pepper. Let's see who else. Southern Blessed. Have. Yeah, it's Patty. It's not Mac. Yeah. Oh, wait, what did you totally. do? Now you got I that thing up there. Like, hold on. Oh. Calm down. I can't see what 
12 in the chat. Can you please hit the Christy, thumbs up? Yes, please. Hello. Hi, Christy. How are you? Oh, stop it. Computer. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. I'm going to put someone in time. Oh, stop touching it. No, I'm going to pop in time out. <laughs> Oops. Yes. Uh, yeah, you can't put Papa Pepper in time out. I'm trying to move. I need to spend a day okay. with Papa okay. Pepper's like three-year-old son and i could probably learn a whole bunch about homesteading oh my god from that little one from all those kids. yeah they know way more than i'm like 53 years old and those kids know more than me yeah you didn't get the notice um, well maybe because it was so fast or something. no i put it up at like two but youtube's been doing that i don't get any notices right now for live so i just have to go to um my subscription page and click live to see who's live that day. Yep. I did yeah, too. exactly. Right. Move North. They, they, those kids could do online courses and homesteading and we could all learn a ton from them. Right. Um, did not, you bring yeah. the, it, it jumped again. Yes. Dilly is here with Lily and they are doing their little dominance thing outside. Dilly and Lily. Yeah. Dilly and Lily. That's a mouthful. Dilly, Lily. Do you breaks. have, the notice do you have the notice when you're getting your home uh cecilia no not a for sure date today this morning electricity got put in and i didn't stick around to watch it because and it's raining so um but they were supposed to put in the electricity friday or monday so hopefully when i get back tomorrow i'll have electricity out there and then um the mobile guy had wrecked his truck trying to move a mobile um, in the mud and it um, broke something in his steering because he actually buried his axle in the mud. So he had that getting repaired last week and I called him yesterday and the truck is all repaired and now he um, is just waiting for the rain to stop and it's supposed to rain at least through Wednesday this week. So. It'll probably be Friday or Monday before the mobile home comes, only if it doesn't rain anymore. And what um, What about uh, the electric? The electric's supposed to be being put in right now. So I should get a call this probably, afternoon saying it's yeah. done. The electric I ordered on April 29th. And they said they'd be out in like a week. And then we had a bunch of storms and they didn't come out and they didn't come out. So I finally called them this last week and it turns out that the paperwork got stuck on someone's desk. So it was a good thing I called. Yeah. But um, I called him like on Monday and he said, we'll have someone out Friday or Monday. So Trevor just showed the neighbor kid how the new chainsaw mill works. I, I, you need to upload videos of that. I would watch them all day long, Diane. Oh yeah. Yeah. Don't mess with Jan. <laughs> you found a crazy lady. <laughs> Yeah, I okay, cannot. I'm trying to catch up because I thought I wanted to get a chainsaw chainsaw mill, and then I realized you now I looked at that birth birth date on the driver's license again, and realized I'm not lifting any logs anywhere. Um, but yeah, watching him cut that wood that was so cool. Chrissy, you're so cool. Oh, see, you can read them on your phone. Hang on. Mm -hmm. She said I threatened her. If she didn't come on the live. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, you just pause your video and you can still read the now, thread. Chrissy, you have um oh I can pause it. Yeah. Oh cool. Oh, you're heading home. Okay, Chrissy. Chrissy, you have ten days of rain. Where are you at? Are you in Oklahoma? Okay, Chrissy, we'll see you later. And I'm not going to stay on here long because I don't really have, there's nothing going on to chat about. So, uh, no, we had a friend, but that's funny. Okay. Kiss My Grouse says we had a friend by the name of Jan Clayton when my father was in the military. So when I see Jan's name, I always go back to that time. Aw. Papa Pepper. Uh, what was it about a year ago? <laughs> okay. Wait a minute. Let me see this. It says Papa Pepper says Jan challenged me to kiss a worm. I'm still yep. trying to build up the courage. They're really good worms kissers. Would be, no, they kiss good. I would kiss a worm. I'm not a snake. Oh, or no, 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 no. Or no awesome snake, or... Papa Pepper. No snake. Papa Pepper, you should have seen this in her bunker here. There was a, there was a spider this big. This big. 
this big. This big. <laughs> <laughs> I should go take a picture of it. That thing was huge. I've never seen a spider that big. Uh, it was a wolf spider. And she's like, she's like worm, boom, and out of there. <laughs> yeah, I will not touch a snake. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I did that in Girl Scouts. They had us touch a snake, and then they passed it around the room in the dark. Yeah. I made us touch a snake, and I have never touched a snake since. Yeah. I, yeah. And that, and I was eight, <laughs> so yeah. no, I'm not touching any more snakes. I know what they feel like, but I'll stay away yeah. from them. Those fangs look too uh, brutal. The what? The fangs. On the snake? Yeah. Or, oh. And then I saw one like slither across the road up there. I've almost hit a turtle. Empty, hello. You have to like, in Arkansas, you have to swerve around snakes in the road. Bunnies in the road. We have bunnies in Washington. Yeah. The armadillo. Well, I haven't seen an armadillo in Arkansas, but turtles. There are turtles everywhere. It's like every time I turn a corner, there's another turtle I have to stop and wait Did for. Did you see the turtles on the road coming here? Were there any? I didn't see any. We have a lot of box turtles, snapping turtles. Uh oh, I almost It's raining there. Shut up. It's um, gorgeous out here. I mean, we got a couple clouds. Papa's we been bit on the bit. head by a snake. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw that video. Uh, uh, nope, not happening. No. Hello, MT Homestead. We have um, the black snakes here. I'm sure we have others. I just haven't met them yet. And they crawl up our tree, and I think they go in the stump and they mate or do something. Um. Uh, my dog barks at them. Cecilia, yep, plastic snakes all day long. And my kids used to love to buy those and leave them places that I would think it was real and jump. I even ran from a rubber so snake. So have you guys oh, ever seen uh, rattlesnake eggs? No. You buy them, in a, they're in a little envelope like this, like a little manila envelope, and it says rattlesnake eggs, be very careful, keep out of the heat, all this stuff, and you open it up. Because you have to open it up because you want to see what the eggs look like. And they're not snaked yet, right? So you open it up and it like shakes and, and everybody throws it. Oh. Well, they used to sell these in California and all it is is a washer and a um and a rubber band inside this thing. But every as soon as you pinch the envelope to open it up, that washer goes around and, oh. and everybody jumps. Oh, so my kids used to bring me plastic snakes and leave them around the house so i sent my son some rattlesnake eggs no oh, that's too and funny. they got them on video like tossing it across <laughs> yeah, it's pretty mm. funny uh hey april at That'd be my Marine. i did not send you a snake i just sent you worms a thousand worms hello Brittany or, Farms. or whatever i sent you so um, my mother was deathly afraid of snakes and we had like these garden snakes under the house and so one day my brothers thought it would be just hysterical to get one of those paper lunch bags and put a bunch of the baby garden snakes in there. Oh no. And so they brought it into or they had, you know, folded it ever so carefully and they said, Mom, we made something really special for you. And my mom started to open it, but then she felt something moving in it. And she literally threw the bag. She oh, knew no. now she knew that her sons, who knew she was petrified of snakes, she wouldn't even watch a snake on TV because she would have these outrageous nightmares screaming for my dad, Frank, Frank, you know. And so she threw the snakes and ran to the end of the road to our neighbor's house about a quarter of a mile ran. And now there's snakes. All <laughs> we have all these baby snakes in there and she calls That'd be horrible. she calls my dad at work he's a truck driver so this is when there is no cell phones but he had to check in with work and they said uh frank you're gonna need to call your wife she's hysterical <laughs> <laughs> so he comes home and he gets rid of all the snakes it was months before she, you you would not hear my mother screaming at night in her sleep, having nightmares because she thought they were still in there. Joy Bless Life said, did you see the interview with you yet since you forgot who did it? I have not, Joy Bless Life. I saw it came up today. Was it today or yesterday when they did the interview with you? Was, that was Mine yesterday? was up yesterday. Yeah. yeah, I saw that one, but... um. 
<clears throat> my internet has been really, really spotty. My internet is my cell phone and it's been really spotty. So um, I've missed a lot of YouTube stuff lately. Um, let me see. I oh, even wow. ran from a rubber snake. That would be me. Yeah. And she catches them and sends them to us. <laughs> I remember those. Okay. Move North Homestead said, and Peppers just pick them up like they're nothing. Yeah, I know. And so do my kids. But yeah. yeah, I don't. My cat used to bring in garden snakes all the time. I'm like, yeah, you just get that right back out yeah. of the house. See you, April. So fascinating. I can't look away, but it's on video. So. <laughs> Okay, fun fact, rattlesnakes give live birth. Oh, oh, there is no eggs. <laughs> that's funny. Um, uh, that's like changing the oil in your windshield wipers. There's no oil. In <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we used to take the kids to the hardware store, my, my marine son, and tell them to go find out if the board structure was working and we're having oh, ask if there was where the bubble juice was. Oh level. god! <laughs> yeah, he knows all the jokes now. Oh, so, Diane says it's pouring there. Yeah, I saw that. I need oh, some right. rubber snacks. Maybe they would keep the squirrels out of my garden. My oh, mom caught a black snake when I was a kid, and we kept it as a pet. Yeah, no, yeah. I I'm not afraid of black snakes. I have a respect for them. They could stay, you know, away from me and. I'm good. You want to know something funny? The house my mom ran to, they had a python in a 50-gallon drum that oh, no. they, they kept as a pet. Well, the Southern Bless she has a pet that. snake out on their, oh, no. um, in their yard. Need um, more blinker fluid. That's what it is, blinker fluid. Thank you. I can screw up a joke faster of than anyone. Of eggs. Urban Bucket Homestead, hello. How are you? <laughs> my granddaughter loves snakes. She got me to hold the corn snake and said, Nana, I'm proud of you. Yep, wouldn't happen. Uh -huh. You're way behind. After, I know. Okay. After my guys. Okay, Britain Farms, you're probably long gone, but I'm just now catching up. Have a great night, Britain Farms. Okay. I Garden sent snake April. I actually tried to lunge at my dad. Oh, really? I sent April and her husband some worms, part of a Shed Wars joke. And uh, the, it was nighttime, and I'm. I'm trying to get a hold of her. I didn't have her phone number yet. And uh, I'm like, check you by your fence. They put the gift on the other side of the fence and it's pouring down rain. And, you know, so by the time they got to the property, it was real late at night, pouring down rain. And they lift up this box and it's got like air vents in it. And so oh, no. her husband's, scared of snakes he hates snakes and he he goes you get out of the vehicle with that box hello herbin bucket <laughs> and so she dropped the box and all this all the worms are in there you know and she's oh, like worse. oh crap that she sent us snakes <laughs> and i did a video talking about it it was hysterical but it was worms. It was <laughs> Joy Bless says, I couldn't deal with a kid or a cat who brought me snakes. We had two dogs tug a war over a black snake a couple of times. Oh, God. Would, I'm terrified that she's going to pick up a snake thinking it's a stick because she has like oh. stick brain or ball brain, my dog. And, uh, but my cat came home the other night with her front paw like really, really swollen. And when I went to go fill it, there were two spots that were, it was probably a snake that she went after. Um, Move north. Diana says our guardian of the well house can stay where she is. I just oh, don't go in there. Yeah, she said seven foot long. Yep, nope. Yep. Um, oh, I think I caught up on comments. Ooh. Yay. You guys are just chatting away now. <clears throat> Anyhow, so yeah, I saw my first Amish carriage on the way here, which was really cool. I've driven in areas of Missouri where it said to watch for them, but I never saw one because it was pouring down rain. So I got to see my first Amish carriage, you know, Amish riding a carriage, which was really cool. And I got to see lightning bugs. Those are awesome. Yeah. Yeah. The armadillo, I, uh, 
I don't know if they buy, I know nothing about armadillos, but they're interesting. But they I'll just stay away from things. them. The snake that bit Matt was a good six foot long. Oh my goodness. Mm. Was was the key word there. Was, yeah. Yeah, I, I've heard that black snakes are good. And if there's black snakes around, then there's probably not copperheads around. So I'm good with They eat other snakes and mice. Yeah, so I'm good with having the black snakes around, just not in my house, you know, and not where I'm going to go pick something off of yeah. a. Uh, let's see, Trevor went to grab a water moccasin saying worm. Needless to say, we laughed. Yep. Oh my God. That would scare me. Yeah. We saw Amish when we lived in Indiana years ago. Yes. I saw them on the train when I traveled uh, back to Pennsylvania, New York. But, um, and we actually got to talk with them quite a bit. So that was kind of cool. Our dog Lily killed the armadillo that was by our garden in um, Texas. And either her or Zena did. I'm pretty sure it was Lily. But uh, we were so worried about it having uh leprosy and so we just we watched her real close obviously okay my alabama farm life is kathleen kathleen okay yes. i'm like it's kathleen or christine i couldn't remember which but hello oh no i gave her new names all the time everything is still a blur <laughs> from that meetup i met so many people there sanctuary um, valley hello so southern bliss pat Patty, I do have um, all three of Papa Pepper's books sitting in my queue. I just have to figure out which address I'm going to have them sent to. So, yes, but I want that book because I figure I'll read it and then send it to my grandkids. Oh, um, cool. We have a mole problem here. Mm -hmm. Armadillos will uproot your garden and plants. Yeah, I haven't seen armadillos uh, anywhere near the property where I live. I've only seen turtles and snakes. But I see them out on the road when I go on the freeway all the time. Black racers and black indigo snakes both eat venomous snakes, but so do possums. Oh, gosh. Yep. And Just, possums don't scare me. We have those in the um, city, too. Possums also eat ticks, right? Mm -hmm. I know that they eat a lot My of ticks. My daughter raised a baby possum. Hello, Sanctuary Valley Homestead. And it, it uh, we, well, we never registered if she never registered it, but a friend of hers um, works for the wildlife department in California. He said it was the biggest possum that he's ever seen on record. His name was Oscar. He had um, cross eyes. I mean, really crossed eyes. Like he looked at you and he was like, you know, Oh wow. Like, it, he was adorable though. He's so cute. Papa Pepper says four species can carry leprosy, chimpanzees, law, armadillos and humans don't they have a cure for leprosy now though i don't mm -hmm. remember uh we call I'm... garden snakes garter snakes here they also give birth to live babies garter yeah, yeah. um yeah possum eats chicks i want to get guineas eventually yeah. because me too. i pulled the tick off of my knees today i'm so over the ticks and the mosquitoes it's a um, thing here. Each possum eats 5,000 ticks in its short life, including disease ticks. Yep. Yep. We can have all the possum as long as they stay out of the chicken coop. Opie wouldn't Kenobi. Um, Aww. Opossums and chickens are the biggest chick eaters. I want guineas, too, because I know they um, are like warning this. and they do uh, ticks. Um. My sister raised an orphan possum years ago. She named his OP1 Kenopi. Oh my gosh, that's cute. Cure is Jesus for Amen. everything, Christy. Amen. Yeah. Hey, Gail Southern. How are ya? So, yeah, that's, um, I don't know if I'm going to stay on here much longer, but our tick problem is mostly because of our pine trees. You know, I'm in a forest. You saw my land. So I'd have to cut down all them trees. <laughs> They're just she everywhere. No, nope, nope. I like won't. my forest. So yeah. I put the granules down on my land, but I don't think it's on the land where the cabin is. And I think the cats are bringing them in at night. And so I keep finding ticks. Our dogs, too. I was getting oh, in my head. Gail, I had cabin fever so bad. I was just, and then I'd go outside just to get out of the cabin. 
and it was so humid, my glasses would like immediately fog up. And then I go back inside where it was cool, and then I go back outside again. Was- She's like Marco and me. My glasses just fogged up. I can't see anything. <laughs> Hello, grandson. <laughs> so the cure for cabin fever is jam. That's yeah. where I want to be go, but no money. I think it is. Oh, and you, yeah. but you, have to, you have to try and fix the loose faucet when you're here, and I don't think there's no fixing that. Ain't no fixing her. <laughs> she crazy. Yeah, yeah. Sure enough now. Oh. <coughs> I drove up. She was wearing her hat. And <laughs> yeah, I did a little quick video. I immediately started laughing. I'm not done with her, though. I'm not through with her. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, aren't you doing a live tonight? Nah, no. No. Really okay. I do mine on Fridays at six. Oh, okay. Six p.m. Central. I know all you people do lives at night, and I don't get signal at night. Well, you need to move. I have to, to start reserve. doing daytime <laughs> lives until I get a uh, better internet. Okay, let's see. <sighs> They're all saying hello. My Alabama. Okay, I need a good laugh to get rid of my cabin fever. My grandson got home done short haircuts well you can guess what my granddaughter did to her bangs well it was going in my face oh my goodness oh god you know my son cut his hair one time he was five years old and he cut his hair like super short and he had long curls in the back and anyhow i took him in and i made them shave his head and he cried through the whole thing not my curls not my curls oh no he's just throwing a fit and, the, and i'm telling the lady shave him bald Oh. And my daughter, who had really curly hair, is like two and a half years old and took a tip at me and she said, what happened Bubba's hair? And I said, he cut it. And if you cut yours, we'll shave you bald. Yes, oh, God. That little girl has never cut her hair. It's down to her butt. Oh, <laughs> she just never cut her hair. Man. She thought I was going to shave awesome. her. Um, let's see. I started to get in the car. I was going crazy, downright mental. Yes, Gail. That's the- Not only that, but my internet is horrible. And so when I try to stream you guys live streams, I'll get like two, two words like and spin and two words and spin. And so I couldn't even get like a full sentence. Yeah. Of she what was people, I was so far behind it. on the live streams that by the fin- by the time I finally got someone said a whole sentence, you guys are like 15 minutes into the live stream and I was so far behind. So yeah. I was really frustrated. Okay, Christy, I'll keep your sister and you in my prayers. Yes, definitely. Uh, yeah, that's, I just went through all that with my mom, and that's not fun. But they can come back off a of hospice. You yeah. can graduate off a of hospice, so if it's God's will. Anyhow, you guys, it's been 45 minutes, and I'm going to let you all go and get your work done. We're keeping Patty from her work. Well, there she is said she that was being naughty. Papa Pepper needs to go kiss a stupid worm, for God's sake. <laughs> worm? Wait, what did I miss? Yeah, I challenged him in a collaboration. Oh, he's got to go kiss the worm. The family ranch. We all kiss the worm. I saw that, Patty, on his pictures on Facebook. Matt shaved all of his hair off. And I was like, is that when Matt did he that do picture? that? Uh, for the banquet that they went to. Oh. So that was pretty cool. No, I did it all by myself. No, she, yeah, she braided her own hair. I have to rubber band it up here because I have that loose strand, you know, over here. And then I braided it. Yeah. Have an awesome, sweltering, humid day. Yeah. Yeah. It's not as humid here as it is down it's in Arkansas. Not. And I turned the air on for her. Yeah, there's air. Yeah. So. I was nice. <laughs> Normally I turn it off during the day, but I, Accidentally kept it on. <laughs> <laughs> Accidentally on purpose. Uh, I knew I was coming. Well, our, our house stays so cool during the day that I don't need to run the air conditioner. Yeah. And then I was like, well, I better go turn it on because Miss Hormone's over here. It's, you Miss, know. No, that's what I said a long ago. <laughs> it started with uh, rain and now it's hot. Yep. That's the worst part in the summer is when it rains and then it gets hot and you're like dying. You're, and I, oh. that's what I was told that it's going to be like in Arkansas next at the end of this week after yeah. these rains. And There's I was like, oh, more. lovely. Yeah. 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 Taking a lot of breaks today between the rain and humidity. I don't want to go back to work. Yeah. I don't blame you. 
Well, well, that's why I came out here. I figured I could just be lazy. Yeah. We'll go shopping. We'll go yeah. hang visit. out. Yeah. I got to see all of our gardens and uh, yeah. yeah, pretty cool. And then I'm looking at stuff in her house going, oh, when I do my house, I want built in yeah. shelves in my bathroom and really neat stuff. So. Well, the lady who, and she had, her and her husband had six kids who we bought the house from, and she did all the work herself. He worked, made the money, and she was the artist. And so she put some cool features in the house, many of which I don't use because, well, I don't want to bend down, way down, and use But that it. bathroom but, cabinet you have in the master bathroom, that's really cool. It's mm -hmm. an old barnwood. It's got a little bar barnwood shelves and then a barnwood door. And, uh, so I need to find an old barn. She did the fireplace mantle yep. there and everything. Well, not mantle. It's just fireplace stands. So, yeah, she's very creative and uh driven so yeah you know i want to do barnwood i want to do some of the stones that i find the rocks that i find on the property yes. there oh, yeah. um but yeah. this stupid house has to show up before i can do anything yeah so i bet you get it next week okay you guys i'm gonna go ahead and end this and tell you all have a nice cool day yeah <laughs> and a blessed day we're gonna um, go to amish stores don't forget, you're never too old to make your dreams come true. Wow. That's going to be my new tagline. I want that on a shirt. You are yeah. never too old to make your dreams come true. Amen. And I'm proof of that. Mac just called, has arrived finally to the friend's house. He said, Highway 10 is horrible. I got stuck in behind oh. an accident in Springfield, was yeah, it? Yeah, you were in Springfield. And it's sort of bottlenecks there when you're getting on to 13 and off of. Oh, so maybe it wasn't an accident. I'm just used to country roads. I'm not used to highways. <clears throat> I avoid Springfield like the play. Yeah, see, we mm -hmm. have to get off of here so we can go to the Amish store. Yeah. Okay, well. All right, guys. Have a blessed yeah. day. <laughs> Y'all be blessed. Love well now, you hear? Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. You have to hit in broadcast right there. Yeah, yeah. I got to teach her everything. I know. <laughs>